This is what I mean, guys. This is why you have to save the high rating for the ones that deserve it. Both of those were both. King of Games. I didn't know that every single level 3 had been shown in Street Fighter 6. So in today's video, it's quite simple. We're going to go through every single level 3 and I believe also the critical arts. We're going to rate each one out of 10. 10 obviously being the best, 1 being the worst. And also, you can get involved. Leave a comment down below what you think of each of them. In case you didn't know the difference between a level 3 and a critical art, they are both level 3 supers, but critical art is basically when your life is below a certain point, the animation changes slightly and it does more damage. So it's still a level 3, but the best way to put it is your back's against the wall and you're whipping out the critical art. If you watch anime, you know about those ones where you have no other option but to win. That's basically the critical art in a nutshell. Now, without further ado, let's start rating these level 3s. Okay, so first one is Manon. I've definitely seen this one before. Okay, okay, that's level 3. Now let's see the critical art. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, is that it? Yeah, I've never seen the critical art version of that one before. I'm not gonna lie. Straight off the bat, like you may think I'm a bit crazy for this one, but out of ten, I'm not going to lie. I'll give the level three maybe like a a five, but the critical art version, I have to give it like a a seven point five. I'll give it a seven point five because this is the first one. Let me not get crazy. I know I'm gonna see something that's gonna blow my mind. I'd have to give it a 10. So, man is level 3, I'm going to give that a 5. The critical art, I'm going to give that a 7.5. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're rating man as one as well. Next. Ken, of course. And they had to do the combo into it. Like, sorry, sorry. Before I even play this, why is every single Ken main so flashy? It's level 3 and critical art, and they're doing combos into it. Who asked for the combo? Nobody asked. Now I have to go back. You know what, yeah? Because of the punch part, I like it. Let's see this. What? Pardon me? Why was the level 3 better than the critical art? Someone explain that to me. I personally thought I thought that was rubbish, I'm not gonna lie. But him punching them back down and saying, sit down and shut up, I like that part quite a lot. So I'll give his level 3, maybe a 5, because it's still simple, isn't it? It's just a, literally a Shoryoku with flames on it. We've seen it so many times over the years. But the critical art, I have to give that like a 3. I'm giving the critical art a 3 because what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, next, I think we've got Lily here. Okay. Guys, I don't know what to say in it. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep, I'm not going to give them both a four. They're both getting a four because, yeah, man. She just literally just grabbed him, spun around a few times, and called it a day. <laughs> They're both for four. Leave it like that. Next, Kimberly. Okay, I like this one. Okay, that was not too bad. Ooh. Okay, so she basically she added. The hidden lotus to it. I think I don't have to hit the hidden lotus to prime your lotus. If you watch Naruto, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that one again. I don't feel like the level three and the critical art were that different. So, hmm, I give the level three a five. That that's like my base number. And if it's all right, it's not bad. It's not good. I'm gonna give it a five. And I'll give the critical art version a six because it was a bit better, but it wasn't so much better that it, it requires a, a whole better rating. 
I'm thinking about Manon's one now. I'm thinking to myself, Manon's one was actually quite good compared to all these ones I've seen so far. That critical art was special. Let's keep going. Next, we've got Kami. Again, Kami, they had to do a combo into it. I like this one quite a lot, not gonna lie. Ooh. Every single time I see the cheeks, it automatically gets bumped up by one point. It has to. So I like the level three. I'm gonna give it a six because it's a bit better than average in my opinion. The critical art, 7.5. It's not better than Manon's one, but them cheeks, you know what? It's an eight. It's an eight. Because of that full body figure, I have to give it an eight. I'm sorry, guys. Leave a comment down below. What you would rate that one out of out of ten? I'm gonna say what would you rate it out of eight? <laughs> got it eight, and it was an eight. But <laughs> look at the next one. We got a gal. Simple stuff. Sonic boom. That was rude. So the difference was, in one of them, he done a somersault, and the second one, he done a double somersault. Come on, guys, man. Come on. I think in the critical art as well, it, like, um, over-accentuated his muscles a bit more. But it was all right, innit? Like, I'll give the level three or five, and I'll give the critical art a six, because, you no, know, I lied. I'm giving them both fives. They're both just average. Again, it's Guile. It's what we expect. Sonic Booms, Flash Kicks. It's what we expect. So I'm not going to give them both fives. Oh, that was a great entrance. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. This is a tough one, isn't it? Because I don't want you guys to think that I'm only giving the new characters good ratings because it's new. That was literally just a punch. Let's just keep it real. So the level three, I'ma give it a four because all she literally done was just punch the guy in the face. It's just a bit below average. The, the critical art now, I'll give it a 5.5. No, I'll give it a six. I'll just give it a six. Like all these 0.5 needs to stop. I'm not gonna give it a six because it was a bit better than average. It's still just a punch, but I like the way they animated it. I like the way she, Smack talked, she twisted and left a, a love heart on his face. It was a bit creative, but it was still just a punch. So I'm gonna give it a six out of a six out of ten. This psychopath right here. Felt fantastic. <laughs> This girl is crazy. How is a girl inflicting pain on you like that? And then saying things like, that feel good. Oh, you have a lovely face. I will be terrified, guys. I would be, but I'll be loving it at the same time. <laughs> but um, level three, I give that one a six out of 10. It was quite cool. It showed Jury quite well in the element. She's crazy. She's doing her flips, all them combos. I liked it, it was I'll give it a six. And I'll give the critical art a six as well, because really and truly, the critical art wasn't much different, like, it was pretty much the same, so I'll give them both sixes. It is more combat firm. Man's moving like Baraka for Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I think it is Mortal Kombat. I think it is Mortal Kombat. Straight off the bat, I'm gonna give the level I'm gonna I'm gonna give the level three or five, it was average. But that critical art is an eight. That critical art is an eight. That was one of the best ones we've seen so far. It doesn't even look like Street Fighter, it literally looks like Mortal Kombat. All that biting stuff was gruesome. The electricity turned to blue. You see the actual skeleton inside the body of the opponent. That was quite good, man. I like it was animated. Even though I don't like Blanca, but I have to give ratings for ratings to Jew. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of ten. Man, 
Let's see. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, this is gonna be controversial. The level three again, I'll give that like a, a four because it's just below average. We've seen it so many times. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That critical art here, yeah, that's an eight. That is an eight. And it's not just because of the skeleton. It's like the whole atmosphere changes. When the critical art gets unleashed, it's clear that this is a last ditch effort. When this move hits you, you should be dead. And if you're not, then Ryu's going to die. That's the way it feels. There's so much at stake with that critical art. Literally, that like, everything is grey. The music comes to a halt. He put his all into the Shoryuken. And it's animated beautifully. That is an 8 in my opinion. If you disagree, I would like to hear your reasons why. But I'm giving that an 8 out of 10. Ooh. Yeah, say no more. That level three was a seven, and that level, oh, sorry, that, sorry, I'm, it just blew my mind just now. It wasn't incredible, but compared to what we've seen so far, that's by far the most creative. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm even have to revisit Manon's one because now that I've seen the kind of levels we're at now, Manon does more of a rating than, than what she got. This one, the level three, I'll give it a seven, and the critical art, I have to give it 8.5. I said, I know I said no more 0.5s, but I can't give it anything a 9 or 10 yet unless it literally blows my mind. Like, even though it sounds like it blew my mind, but it's just because we well, haven't seen nothing like this. The guy literally drew his own ring with his feet and made the sumo match live in the mix. And then the critical art, it was great, man. You guys saw what I saw. You saw what I saw. 8.5 for the critical art, 7 for the level 3. This is the best one so far. The ground and pound. Okay. She's just a woman, fam. This guy's a bully. Get the hell off Chan Lee. Are you mad? Have you lost it? <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just a basic ground and pound. Like, let's keep it real, man. The level three, I'm gonna give it a five, and the critical art, I'm gonna give it a. Give it a six. It was a bit better, but really and truly, it was just a ground and pound. Nothing really special. And he's punching the face of everyone's waifu. You can't be doing that to Chan Lee. So I'm sorry, Luke, but level three, five, critical art six. Next one. How can you grab someone's head like that? Zangief guys, a serial killer fam. No mercy, no remorse. No one asked for any of those things. Nobody. <laughs> like, that was terrifying. Um, level three, I'ma give it a five again, quite average. Just that's literally his normal special move when he grabs you in the game, just with a bit of taunting in the beginning. And the critical I'ma give it a six because it was quite cool. I like Zangief. You know, I'ma give it a six point five, because I think it deserves better than that. But yeah, six point five. Next one. Okay. This is our destiny. My secret gets On my life, I thought man was about to say Getsuga Tenju. If he just said Getsuga Tenju there. That was a straight 10 out of 10, because I'm a huge Bleach fan. Nonetheless, that level 3, 7 out of 10, I do think it was a bit too short, I'm not going to lie, but I like cinematic stuff in it. The aspect ratio changed, it was quite creative, everything turned grey, it was cool. Then, the critical art, I'm going to give that an 8.5 as well, I'm going to give it the same as reused one, because once again, it changed the whole environment. That was him doing a last ditch effort, after this move, if he doesn't kill the opponent, he's going to die. He's putting it all on the line here. 
the music went to the music dimmed down a bit it was just him and the opponent and the man literally said get Sugar. if he said get Sugar Tenjo like I said I would have lost it but unfortunately he didn't 8.5 out of 10 I'm about to pause it right there fam This is what I mean guys This is why you have to save the high ratings for the ones that deserve it Both of those were both 9 out of 10s Both of them Are you mad? Like Come on now If you've been watching this far and you're thinking to myself I'm a bit harsh with the ratings This is why you have to be but that one was clearly leveled above everything we've seen so far. Both of them, the level 3 and the critical art. This is not JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. How is man going hodo 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 in Street Fighter? My bro, DJ, huh, I like that. I like that one quite a lot. Let me not lie to you. Oh, yes. Okay, this one, I'm going to give the level 3 a 7, because that was quite good. I like the animation, I like the punches, the teleporting, all that kind of stuff. I think it was a bit too short again, like the end was kind of anticlimactic. And uh, a critical art, I'm going to give it an 8, because mm, is it that much different, really and truly? You know, I'll give it a 7.5. I'm going to give Dao Sim's critical art a 7.5 and his level 3 a 7 because it wasn't that different but it was better than the ones we've seen before Okay There was literally only one difference between the two of those I'm not going to give them both sixes because Again, I don't want to see a combo, I don't want to see a target combo as a bloody critical art or level 3, really and truly. Like, obviously, Chan Li's buff, but it wasn't good enough, man. So, I'm gonna give the level 3 and the critical art both a 6. What? What was that? Guys, I don't even know what to say about that. It was just so unique. I don't even know what to say. I think, definitely, whoa, bro. I'm gonna give the level three there an eight because from beginning to end, even the startup of it, him grabbing their face was cool as hell. And I'm gonna give the critical art a nine because that would look, literally look like anime. That looked like a final boss in the anime that's ending your life. That was, yeah, that was great. Let me not lie to you. That was actually great. And I believe that was the last one, guys. Whoa. So, it's clear that, in my opinion, remember that, guys, this is my opinion. The best critical arts and level threes in this game belong to DJ and JP. Those were both incredible level threes and critical arts, and you cannot deny it. If you think otherwise, again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought was the best critical art in the game. I'm glad to hear different opinions. I always reply to the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. I very much appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel for content every single day at 5 p.m. And have a great day, guys. Peace.